welcome everybody today's topic is on sitting is equal to smoking and we will discuss on this fact how it is true the more you sit the less you live when it come to 1950s there were the double decker bus you can see these red double decker bus roaming around in london or in our country india too during that time there was a research done between the driver of the double decker bus and between the conductor so the driver he used to sit for 7 to 8 hours as a stretch roaming around with his bus all over the city whereas the conductor he used to roam inside the bus around 600 steps going on top to bottom bottom to up from floor first floor means the floor wise so he used to take out tickets of all the customers so the research showed that the bus driver had a double risk of heart disease whereas the conductor who used to be constantly going steps by steps he he was less prone prone to heart disease this was one research done in the 1950s on the double decker bus conductor and driver whereas the driver used to have the sedentary lifestyle and the conductor was living a active lifestyle in this fashion this was the first research in 1950s now we come to the astronauts the astronauts when in zero gravity had no movement there was loss of bone density as you lose out there's no movement in that zero gravity the astronauts used to fly that there, there was no such movement only limited amount of movement you could do in the space as the movement was less so the bone density became less the muscle became atrophied atrophy losing is muscle strength the elasticity of the muscle the strongness of the muscle so it became atrophied then having a sedentary lifestyle in space that was another research the regard study in 2017 by the annals of annuals of uh, internal medicine there was a cohort study done between the stroke in black americans and white americans out of those 8000 people observation 840 died over 4 years due to stroke in that regard study there was an accelerometer fitted the accelerometer is just like the step counting device the accelerometer measured the sedentary behavior and the physical activities in the white and black adults it is just like a modern step counter watch so from that study it came out that around more than 30 minutes of sitting more than 30 minutes of sitting we are prone to 55% more risk of death than less than 30 minutes of sitting a day and more than 13 hours day sitting we are 200% more risk of death than less than 11 hours sitting a day and more than 30 minutes at a time plus 12. 5 hours per day at are at maximum risk of death so you are getting the point that the more you are sitting the more you are prone to the maximum risk of death 
this was a research study done. You can uh, actually find this cohort study in the regards over accelerometer when you search online. What are the high risk factors of uh, this sitting for prolonged hours? Firstly, it can lead to premature death, dementia, heart diseases, diabetes mellitus, hypertension, obesity, and weight, weight increase cholesterol even deep vein venous thrombosis the more you sit you can find the thrombosis of the veins around your lower lower legs the lower limbs it could lead to varicose veins another risk factor is mental defects even the increase of cancer risk increases when it comes to various ages, all the ages from parents, from children from 0 to 5 years to adults to 60 plus age groups, what are the effects and how much you should avoid? For parents, 0 to 5 years age, you should not allow the screen hours means the screen time of one to two hours on mobile tv whatever device you're using mobile tv laptop pc you should not allow the child to use for more than two hours when it comes to five to 18 years one to two hours do not watch shouldn't watch more than two hours in 5 to 18 years otherwise you'll become sedentary in 18 to 60 years where people are going to offices shops for work they can make a break time around uh, of 30 minutes you sit and then uh, relax of five minutes go around your place if you're sitting in a shop the shopkeeper cannot uh, move around but he could actually stand up from his position he could stand up do stand up for a few few two minutes take a sip of water or something and then come back uh, for people who are having prolonged sitting jobs in a bank or office doctor driver so they could keep a 30 minute alarm set. So while doing their job, they could just stand up for uh, two minutes or so for doing some kind of work or make a reasonable changes. Or a 30, if you're doing some break, take a tea coffee break or use high desk. Say no to lifts. These are all, all these things which you could do. You could try more of walking. Then in 60 plus age group, which is a retired, so they could watch more than three hours. So they should avoid the sofa 24 hours, especially in the morning and night. Instead of that, you could meet your friend, do some activity, do some productive activity. So the motto is keep moving and don't sit for a long period. I know in these days online classes are so prevalent. So you give your child uh, 30 minutes of alarm breaks or 5 minutes of breaks. Just tell him to stand up for 5 minutes and roam around or, or do some activity. Feed him. The cross of this is movement is equal to muscle and muscle is equal to health and health is equal to life. The more you move, the more your muscle works. So if you move the less, you move your muscle the less, the less is your health habitat. 
health lifestyle so muscle is equal to health and health is equal to your life so keep moving don't sit for a long period please stand up and move thank you for watching